don't need it. You know who this is. First of his name. Figure we do something a little different. We're gonna do a Phyrexia OB1 bundle opening. Yep, not complete, not super duper, not let's hope that we get every rare known to man by yours truly magic. But we're gonna go and take a look at the regular bundle just to see what we find in this. Um, of course, obviously the regular bundle is not getting nowhere near as much love because to be truthfully honest, you just get more value out of buying the complete, especially with the oil slicks. I mean, Mox is kind of neat. Here you can see Elish Norn doing her thing on both either side. Rexy all will be one. I guess there was a little post in here. It got... I got torn by the packaging, which was pretty lame. It's going to be a pretty cool picture if they wouldn't have, like, torn it in packaging. And the other side looks like it's got a, what's this, like, the Friction Alter kind of card? Yeah, well, yeah, I can't keep that. This one's got punch outs, too. Little punch outs on the sides. There you go. Flatten it out. Little poison counter thingies on one side. Cool little punch outs on the other, but more little poison counter thingies. So yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, I mean, the regular bundle has it too. And then we have our set packs with our lands, and I believe this is considered their box topper. And it does come with a die. So my understanding is these dies are all pretty much coming like this with the Phyrexian symbol and the numbers. But I guess there's a rare chance to get a die where all the numbers are Phyrexian. So every number is in the Phyrexian language. So I guess that's like the, the rare the rare die. But uh, it looks like if that is what the case, then we did not get it this time. But uh, we'll start off with the lands. Go ahead and get those out the way because everybody knows what lands looks like. So it looks like with the basic bundle, you get the regular lands. You get the uh, regular lands. So we go look at the white. The blues. Yeah, I'm not going to hold you guys up because everybody knows uh, what basic lands look like. But there you go. You get your, your basic lands. And then here you have your, essentially your box topper or your promo card, whatever you want to call it. We get Kermux the Rat King. So... 3-3 three, three for 3 that, that's toxic and works with other rats. Sounds like any rat that you normally want to have. And then you get your shiny version of all the lands. So you get your foil of each. So if they look exactly the same, just one's foil and one's not. So as you see, one gets the gets the shiny treatment, the other one does it. But it's all the same lands. No pictures, no extra art, no anything. So if you're just trying to get into something, this is a good buy, I guess. I would still highly recommend paying the extra to get the complete because you just get more value out of it. All right, on to the sets. Let's see what we get. Because, I mean, these are set packs, too. So they're just as likely to pull an Atroxa or an Elish Norn. And there those are uh, our nice shiny land. See how it's around. So, uh, so far, nothing wild. 
And we got Jork Dean. Jork Dean. This is our first rare. Followed by, oh, see, there you go. Look, Skrell, Defector Mike. That's actually pretty solid. There's Predator, and then Token. But yeah, so I can understand why this box doesn't get much love at all. I mean, the fact that you get oil slicks in there that are going for, you know, the, the bottom floor for those is like five or six dollars. So then you get all the freight, then you get all the uh, oil slick lands. So all those lands, you know, you can sell for two, three dollars a piece and you get 40 of them. So sorry, not the oil slicks. You get 20 of them. Actually, I can't even count. You get <laughs> you get 10 of them. Oh, man. It's the these lands that you get 40 of. But not the oil slicks. But even with these, these can be worth a little bit. So you just it's just if you're looking for at it from a financial standpoint. The complete bundle is just way, way better. Just way better. And far as money value is concerned. So, there you go. And we get another Capricious Hell Razor as our mm, rare. See, to be the second one. Nope, we get Revicious Insights and we get a Capricious Hell Razor. So, yeah, nothing spicy so far. I mean, it would be cool if you do hit a Elish Nor Nor Troxa and a regular bundle, then yeah, you definitely get your money's worth. But I mean, there's <laughs> I mean, there's a Troxa right there, right? I mean, not quite the one we're looking for, but it's there. You land. Let's see. Oh, what? Oh, man. This camera really don't like my hands. Oh, that was a commander one. Geth. Okay. And then a Heary Sacrifice. For those of you uh, joining us for the first time, you should go to darknativegames.com to buy your own packs and singles. Uh, stick around on my YouTube channel. There's more videos like this of other packs being open with all kinds of cool pictures and stuff that you can partake and enjoy in. So stand around, sit around, stop by, lean by, drive by. Please don't drive by. And just enjoy some of the cards we have here. Looks like the rare one we get is Zenith Chronicle. And we get an infectious bite. Oh, look at this. We hit a list. Today is Juniper Ascendant. That actually, I believe this might be Secret Layer type. I don't know. They changed the they changed the way these slots work so much, I don't even know anymore. You never know. But if you're new here. Thank you for joining us and, and enjoying and seeing the cool arts and cards that we are unraveling here. For those of us that have been here before, thank you for returning. I always appreciate your views and everybody sticking around to just share the pack opening with me. <laughs> Man, maybe I should get a new mat. Or maybe it's just the cards, because they like to slide everywhere. Like, everywhere, no matter where I put them. If you're into those full art full art cards, oh, we get a mon Monument to Perfection. And a token. Nothing crazy. So I've got a couple more packs we can go through, so... I mean, there's always the chance we hit big money. It's always the chance.
but I'm not holding my breath. We've evolved Spinoderm is what we pull on this one. Against all odds. And a Phyrexian monitor. I don't even know what set that comes from. I've never seen this before. It's interesting, though. It's definitely interesting. We have another token. Another cool. Lart. Those are land. And here we go. Yeah, I think it's the cards that just slide just the way they're their designed or made or how they're packed into the pack. They just slide. All right, we got a Blue Sun's Twilight. That's not terrible either. Predation Steward. And we are down to our last pack. So. Uh, there's our token. Yeah, there's another Atroxa. Unfortunately, it's not the one we're looking for. And our land. And then we have our regular commons. I'm pretty sure you guys at this point are like, please, let there be something good at the end of this. And we got a fast land, so that's definitely something. Fast lands are useful. And a thumbing bird. So, as I said before, I don't hold my breath to see anything really crazy in a standard bundle. You just, it's its just worth the money to go buy the complete, pay the extra, get the complete, and you're going to get much more value out of it. But thanks for joining me. You've seen a whole opening of just the regular Frex LB1 bundle. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I make a video. Go to darknatives.com, darknativegames.com. To check out my online store to see products such as bundles, collector boxes, booster boxes, and singles. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. This is Dark, first of his name, Payayasa.